let's take a look at Iowa's upcoming game versus the Shockers out of Wichita State in the consolation game of the CBE Classic down here in Kansas City, Missouri. Iowa is coming off a tough loss to number three, Texas, in which they actually kept up with the Longhorns in the first half, uh, capped off by a three-quarter court heave by Cully Payne uh, to put Iowa even up with Texas at the break. But Texas came back in the second half, ended up being too physical for Iowa. They pounded the ball down low and, and took a sizable lead and margin of victory in this one. Um, Wichita State, on the other hand, played with Pitt for the first half as well. And then towards the end of the second half, Pitt went on a run similar to what Texas did to Iowa and made, took the game out of hand. Um, the good thing about for Wichita State in this game is they'll be getting their senior point guard in Clevin Hanna back, who will return after a three-game suspension. Um, he was out due to a clerical error by Wichita State. And, um, and although uh, Durley and Murray played pretty well in his absence, they're very turnover-prone, and I think – uh, at least for Wichita State, they should get a boost from uh, Hannah because of his uh, ball handling skills and the way he runs a team and actually that senior, senior le leadership. Uh, Pitt really gave it to the guards in Wichita State's backcourt last night, and you could tell they could have really used Hannah. Uh, with Hannah, they might have stuck a little closer to Pitt in that game. So that, they're going to get a big boost there from Hannah in this game. The questions I have for this game is how long will it take Hannah to actually get into the flow of the game not being with the team as much and, and not uh, being on the court with them. So we'll see if, how long it takes him to get in the flow. Um, we'll see how Iowa is able to respond after a tough game, like I said last night with Texas, and if the physical play that they ended up putting up in the second half and throughout the entire game and the emotional letdown after being tied with that team is going to affect them in this one. It's a short turnaround as well. I don't think that game got over until about 11, 11.30 last night, if I remember correctly. So... Um, we'll see how they can recover from that. And ultimately, we'll see if Iowa can play consistently for 40 minutes tonight. Um, they've been improving every game, whether you look at the box scores or not. If you watch this team, you'll see that Iowa has improved game to game throughout the season. They will continue doing this all season long as well. So that's the real residing facts in this one. Um, Iowa and the Shockers are going to be close this entire game. I don't think anyone's going to blow out anybody. Uh, I think one... Both teams are probably going to have their times where they're going to go on their spurts because both of them have their lacks uh, in scoring. So I think it all depend, ultimately depends on who's able to stop the, store, the scoring drives from the other team and, and who can, who can stop, stop those droughts. I do believe it's a pick em game pretty much. Uh, if I have to go with prediction, I think the Shockers are probably going to end up winning this game somewhere around the 62-60 to 60 margin. I believe it's very, but one, very winnable for both teams. So.